Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if, if, if this is your first time tuning in. M m m my name is t t t t t Tiffany and I am a speech language pathologist and a person who stutters. Um, and if you have been following my channel, you probably know that um, I have been really bad about posting videos. I haven't posted one in like three months, so I apologize. Um, but here is my video. So what 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 I'm going to be talking about today is um, the the this idea that pe people who stutter can um, stutter different amounts um, or stutter even differently, de depending on the con con contest ton context of um, what they're doing. Um, some people. Like, like, like you see a lot, lot of variability, um, um, and it, and, and, and other people you don't see as much variability, um, but for some people, um, they stutter m m more when they're reading, and some people stutter more when they're, um, kind of like talking off the cusp, like in conversation. Um, and there's different reasons for um, different um, ways, the, the different direction. Um, so you'll see this, like, I think really noticeably me um, because I uh, stutter, I think, a, a lot more when I read um, compared to when I'm speaking. Um, so I want you to take what you just heard um, me talking for these past, like, couple minutes and compare that amount of stuttering to what you're going to hear when I read in a second. Um, I'm stuttering kind of a, a lot tonight, so it, it actually m might not be that different, as, as different as it usually is. Um, but usually there's like a pretty stark difference. So I think you'll probably see that still, though. Um, and then at the end, I'll explain why. So I'm going to go ahead and read for you now. Um, get some glasses here. Okay. Um, Washington, part of the nation's future oil supply may lie within um extra Uh, ordinary uh, uh, organisms that have been called a third form of life. Uh, um, um, Colorado, um, State University, micro. Biologist reports obtaining pure hydrocarbon that could be converted to gasoline or lubricating oils from some of the or from several of the organisms the oily substance is energy rich <laughs> Definitely 
uh, lubricant, combustible, and is it soluble in water, says the researcher. Um, Thomas Tornabin and the oil is free of air polluting sulfur. The discovery now is only a laboratory phenomenon. Any commercial application is some time away. Right now, <laughs> we are concentrating on the organism's basic mechanisms, Tornabine says. We have two genetic engineers looking at them to find ways of getting them to grow faster and to pump oil faster. Okay, well, I think that was um, prob probably pretty clear. I, like, struggled so much with that. Reading is really difficult for me. And probably a huge part of why I stutter so much more severely while reading is because I feel that way. I know that reading is hard. I've had experiences where it's been really difficult and really, you know, I don't know. And to some degree, like, painful, like, negative, like, experiences. Um, and so I, I, I definitely have built it up to be something really hard and there's a lot of like time pressure associated with like seeing like how much more the page is I think about that a lot so like there's definitely a lot of like psychological factors that don't like cause stuttering anyway but like they they can make stuttering worse so I think that's like part of it but then the the, the, the biggest reason you would see a difference in this um specifically the direction that like it went for me where like people who stutter stutter more when they read is when people are covert so it's where they hide their stuttering um, using like different tricks to try to uh, avoid their stuttering. Um, so like, for example, if you're reading and you see a word that is on the page, you can't change it or else it'd be kind of weird. Um, but, but, but if you're talking and you come across a word, you know, you're going to have a hard time saying um, it's, you can just change it, which is not a great thing to do all the time. Like it doesn't, it doesn't all, all, all work all the time. It doesn't necessarily work long term, and um, it can make us, you know, feel bad about what we're saying and like the message is we're not conveying what we want to say. But it's something a lot of people who are covert end up doing. Um, also, in conversation, there's like a lot of like natural um, variation in how we talk, and that is something like for me who uh, is a person who like. I definitely have struggled with like being very covert and trying to hide my stuttering a lot. Um, I will like change my intonation, my pitch, the way that I like talk to be like different, play different characters and stuff like that. You can see it throughout my videos even like, like, like parts of my videos where I'm like more fluent. You can almost see like the character change. I don't know. in like the way that my voice sounds different. And so I don't do that as much when I read and neither do most people. Um, and so you lose that as um, like an avoidance if that's something you do to hide your stuttering. So that's I think that's like pr probably the big, big, biggest reason that I stutter more when I read because I don't do all these like extra avoidance behaviors that I do b b b b basically all the time to like some degree when I'm talking. Even if I'm stuttering a lot, I'm usually doing something when I'm talking in conversation so I don't stutter as severely as you just saw when I was reading. Um, so, you know, it's an interesting thing. I mean, I can talk way more about covert stuttering and I probably will in 
future videos um, because there's not always like pros. Like it, it's not necessarily a good thing to do. Um, at least it doesn't make us feel good about ourselves a lot of the times. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll stop it there and we can like talk more about that in future videos. I did want to quickly talk about the other directions. So people who stutter more when they are talking spontaneously um, versus reading, uh, a, a lot of people report it's because when they're reading, it's less pressure because it's like you only have to like read what is there. Like you, you don't have to worry about like like thinking about what you're going to say like and formulating that language. You can just like read and you and like and 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 like and like a lot of people talk, talk, talk about like a flow state that they get into, especially when they're reading, where like they can kind of like get like kind of monotone and just kind of like say everything just like the same, and it uh, it, it, it it almost is like uh almost like an avoidance, but it's just like something that makes them more fluent. Um, and so it's something that. For people who stutter less when they're reading, um, it's a lot of times like that's what they say is why. Um, and then there are definitely people who just like stutter the same. Um, and that is just kind of an inherent differences in people who stutter is that even though like we all stutter differently, we all have different experiences with stuttering. There's a lot of commonalities, um, but there's also a lot of differences. And this is just like one of the things that like um, can be really different in people who stutter. So if you, if you have a stutter or work, work with people who stutter or have any insight in this, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, maybe there's other reasons that like, uh, uh, one of these contexts is easier than others and that I didn't talk about. Um, I'd love to hear what those are. Um, anyway, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, um, like, uh, comment, all that fun stuff, and I will see you all soon. Bye!